caught on camera. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. So we'll see about that. Wrong button. Shereen Louise. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. What is that new intro? What is that new intro, bro? He is cooking. Shereen Louise, a single mother of a three-year-old daughter, has recently moved into an old Victorian house in Cardiff, England. Soon after moving in, Shereen's daughter, little Ilea, begins to complain about a man with a, quote, bad head and bad eyes who marches through the upstairs hallway. Hold on, what immersion. Bad eyes. Bad eyes? Yeah. Y'all, come on. Bad eyes. Are we going to take anyone like this serious? It's a it's a child. You can't you can't take a, a child serious like this. Like unless unless they're like talking about the one to where the the dude was like living in their walls. That was a real story. This eyes bad eyes. Yeah. Where? Mm. Guys. Upstairs. Nope. No, we're not doing this. Shireen decides to take a look into the history of the old house and discovers that it was built on an ancient battleground from all the way back in 1485. She has a... The worried mother now believes that her daughter might be seeing the spirit of a soldier who fought in battle. Shireen installs a security camera in the hallway just to see what's going on. Oh, for sure. After dark, this happens. All right, now, hear me out, hear me out. Uh, do you guys casually hang out in the hallways of your house? Is this is this a thing that I'm just, like, too American to do? I don't actively hang out in my hallways. Hell, I don't even go outside, bro. I never leave my room. Then one night after dark, this happens. What is this? So, well, like, okay, so you go to bed. You go to bed knowing that toys and and a like uh, what is this thing? A uh, stroller are just hanging out in the middle of the house in the in the middle of the hallway, and you you insist on waking up. Don't turn on any lights. And walking. Bro, what if you step on like a Lego? Yeah, come on, I'm gonna help. <laughs> Mom, get. What and then she's just being a kid. What? Yeah, scared of what? Who is it? No. It's the bad man. Is someone there? Yeah, bad, bad eyes. Two eyes. She just had a nightmare. A little kid had a nightmare. It's fine. Two eyes. Had bad times. Okay. Hiya. Did you do anything? There's nothing there. Right, see you later, Mr. Soldier Man. She's just being a kid. Are you laughing at him? Is he being funny? <laughs> yeah. Are you being funny? That's good, isn't it? Are we gonna see some like eyes up here, up here? can be heard loud okay okay come on the hallway on. security camera is that a breath shortly after this little ilea once again why was there a cut why was there a cut here i don't understand and, and let's be for real 
Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It, 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 I did not hear a breath. I just heard an audio glitch on the camera or something. Like, come on now. Claims about the man with the quote, bad head and two eyes. Yo, she what it says that originally nah, she nah, completely nah. fell in love with the charming Victorian home, but now has second thoughts about staying. She no, she she's doesn't. Worried about the safety of her daughter. So no, you're not. Little three-year-old Ilya sings something that we just can't. You. This is this is like uh, this is like the uh, the the like how animals can see the paranormal, right? Like, dude, uh, children aren't. Dude, your eyesight doesn't just lose the ability to see paranormal things as you get older. Like, it's like a it's like a playoff, like. As you grow up, you lose your innocence of a, of a kid, so you you can't you can't see you can't see the paranormal anymore. But that's so dumb. Oh my god, nah, bro. I I never did. That. Even after my COVID shots, even after my COVID shot, I never got those powers. I'm still waiting on my superpowers to come in. My my like radioactive superpowers from the COVID nineteen shots. I'm still waiting on them. Like people are over here like able to stick keys to their face and whatnot. And I can't do that. I'm still waiting. But like yeah, I never had the ability to see ghost as a kid. And I don't think that's something you just lose over time. Okay. So my microchip is busted. Nah, I don't know. I'm not hitting up. I'm not hitting up Bezos ever again, bro. It's gotta be Musk. It's gotta be Musk, man. I gotta hit up Elon for a new chip, microchip from my COVID-19 chip shot. Decide, graveyard. This next video was posted to the internet by an account that is devoted to sharing videos of large boats and seafaring vessels. In one video, uh -huh. we see a graveyard of old cruise ships that have been run aground and left abandoned on a beach somewhere in Turkey. Bro, but these things would be so cool. Something else, something that a sharp-eyed Nukes Top Five viewer spotted in the video. Watch closely. Is he gonna see a shadow man, shadow person in the windows? Where is it? Was that it? Is it this up here? Yes, yes, yes. It's the shadow person. Watch Joe Rogan every day. Bad side effect. But if I get my superpowers, I mean, I think that's well worth the trade off. So we see the shadow people return once again. Uh, let me pull the mic away from my face so I'm not blowing up your headset. Right here, you see the shadow person walking around. This, this is like the oldest trick in the books, okay? The oldest trick in the books of just creating a human walking and like, Rendering it so far down to where you can't make any distinctive features and it's just a shadow. Just a homeless dude. It could, in fact, be a homeless dude or a TikTok live streamer. It could be one or the other. But it could also just be editing. You never know with these shadow people, bro. Probably a TikTok live streamer. Did you see it? Begging for money. On board the rusting old cruise ship on the right, someone or something can be seen walking around in- uh, Maybe it's Bigfoot. Maybe this is where Bigfoot is is uh, is uh hiding out. Oh uh, no, Bigfoot's only a US thing. Never mind. Uh, probably off for the night of Rainbow Six. I probably need to change all my stuff. But- Inside, even though the ship is completely abandoned, no one is on board, and there's not even any access to get on the ship. So could this mysterious figure be the ghost of someone who didn't survive their voyage? No access? 
There has to be a ladder of some kind, right? There has to be. Uh... And it's unplayable. Rope is easier. Yeah, we can't we can't see the the sides of the the ship. They could have also just walked or climbed up along this rope here. Uh, they definitely. I don't know. I don't know what it could be, but I I highly doubt some random ghost is just hard stuck on the ship, and your camera can pick it up. It's let me know what you think. The Night Visitor. Ooh. A woman named Shay works as an overnight office cleaner at a mid-sized company in Indiana. It's always Shea the overnight says that workers. She often works alone in the large office building and that this can sometimes get just a little bit creepy. But this one particular night, things are about to get absolutely terrifying. Yo, okay, so Tim while I'm at work and I was about to take out the trash and I just got a text from um the lady who um the lady who works here and she said, Hey Shay, just wanna let you know that everyone has left so um you can go back in the other side. I was like, Okay, yes ma'am and she said just me there No, I asked, I said just me there. She's like, Yes. Y'all I'm scared as f because when I went outside there are no cars out there besides my work van. Uh huh. And I'm so scared. So tell me why. If I'm the only one here, who the f is this? Who is who? Like, who the f is that? Like, who? Y'all, I'm not tripping. That's somebody in that. Your reflection? Who are you talking about? It's literally your reflection. What the f is that? Like, hello. Y'all, I'm not tripping. That's somebody in that f room. And it it's literally her. Look, this is her holding her phone. This is a phone. And this is her body that she's halfway peeking. She's doing a little R6 peek around the corner. Dude, what is she yapping about? It's her own reflection. Just sitting there. Uh, sitting where? What the f is that? Like, they just sit in there. Go ask them! Oh, and call, cause I'm like, how the f which? And I just call her and say, hey, you sure I'm the only one here? She's like, yeah, look at the cameras. You're the only one there. I'm seeing about the cars there. And I said, someone is in one of the booths. And she was like, in the booths? I was like, yeah, someone is in one of the booths. What the, what the f Okay, okay. Uh, once again, this is a uh, this is a system built on trust. We we have to trust that what she says is 100% true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to trust 100% what she says is true that no one else is in the building. We go in with that speculation and that's how we're supposed to break this down. Now, to be fair, she was looking at her own reflection. Uh, I, I didn't see a single soul sitting in one of the booths watching TV. Okay, but uh, the stuff moving around and whatnot, that could literally be anyone. Your overnight shit gets, oops, uh, yeah, shit gets uh, dropped, dropped off. I mean, but you know I'm black, right? And I don't play this shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, all right, I'm going to tough it up and just open the door. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, the scissors are gonna do a whole lot to. Mm -mm, nope. 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 What? Nope. Oh, wait, the TV wasn't even on. It's the actual reflection. It's the actual reflection from behind her. Wait. Oh my god. Hell nah, cuz. Uh uh, nope. What? Shay is supposed to be all alone in the building, but someone. Or something seems to be sitting in a chair pressed right up what against a glass door at the end of the <laughs> what huh hall the 
They're not moving, and they're not reacting. Shay hides in the closet, gathers her courage, and then heads out to confront. She gathers the courage after her coworker, or someone that she knows, goes around and sets up the room and whatnot. Yeah, that makes sense. The person, but there's no one there. With that, Shay has had about enough. She calls her supervisor to come check out the office building for an intruder. Right. Or whatever this is. And Shay takes the back stairs and exits the building. But here is where oh, it here, here, here's the real stuff. Because Shay's supervisor comes and checks out the entire building and finds no one there. Also, her supervisor reviews the security camera footage that monitors anyone entering or leaving the building. And whoever okay. this person was. Okay, so tell me the timestamp of when your manager or your the, the owner showed up, right? Tell me the timestamp and when this was taken so that they're not there at the exact same time, right? Because it's so obvious that someone could be literally there. That seems like record time, right? The second she leaves, the, the manager's already there, like... I don't know was they never left this person never showed up on any of the building's security cameras i we don't see a person videos, so i don't see, see a person there that you think would be perfect for the top five send it to me at nukes top five at gmail.com off the wall in an email sent to me by nukes top five viewer ricardo he told me about a trip he and his brother took to the historic fort of san felipe in bacalar mexico no, that on place the trip, cool. Ricardo filmed the video with his old Nokia potato phone, and he and his brother can be seen exploring the massive old 1700s fortress. With a potato phone that is going to move the pixels, and then they're going to sit there, and, and, and they're going to sit there and, and say any movement of pixels on their screen are, are, are ghost paranormal activity. They accidentally catch something that they just can't explain. What I can't explain is how bad this quality is. Oh my god. Yo, dude, this has... Uh... Did you see it? No I'd... way they're gonna sit here and say some jellyfish was on their screen flying across, bro. That's literally just his camera. Dangerous section of the historic fortress that's closed off to tourists. A strange brown. <laughs> the jellyfish. Some figure can be seen on the grass and seemingly climbing or floating right over the wall. Oh now, my I've god. I've carefully inspected this clip. I've slowed it down and I've even sharpened and enhanced the potato quality as much as I can. It's literally a jellyfish, bruh. Could, but I still have no idea what this is. Florida man, bro. Florida man. Bro, ain't no way this jellyfish. Floating on their screen is something they're gonna call a ghost? Okay. So, I leave we it need up to you. We need better videos. The Royal Arcade. Nuke Stop 5 viewer and paranormal investigator Emma from the YouTube channel Twin Best. And you know who else you can't trust? A paranormal investigator. You know why? Because they are literally certifying themselves. They're, they're, they're actually, like, I could sit here and, and say I'm a paranormal investigator by going around my house with, with a video camera. I'm now a paranormal investigator. Like, dude, you can't trust them. It, they, they need, they need the content, right? Especially if they're uploading their, their stuff on YouTube. They need the content. So they, they go in and how they always do this is when they capture something they say they only see it when they review the footage. Okay. Review the footage. You mean added it in while you were editing the video to upload. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'll believe you. I'll believe you. The Gate UK reached out to us about a creepy video they captured while investigating the Royal Arcade in Keefley, West Watch, Yorkshire, listen. England. The Royal Arcade is an historic underground shopping center built in 1901. The uh. upper floors of the Royal Arcade were eventually renovated. However, the dingy old underground stores and rooms were left untouched. These so they have to be haunted. Their dark history still look almost exactly the same as they did in the early 1900s. Emma says that she and her group were doing a spirit box session in what was once the shop of a horse saddler. In this area, the spirit of a grumpy old man named Billy is said to wander around. They're out here naming the ghost. They're naming the ghost, bro. Like. Bro just wants to be called Billy, man. It, they probably heard it on one of their, like, little spirit boxes. What happens next is truly creepy. Make that bang again. South. South. Please stop. Please stop. Why do you want us to stop? Uh-huh. Emma and her group are shocked to see what looks like a figure moving through a lens flare caught on their phone. The investigators try to recreate and even debunk what they captured, but they just can't reproduce this strange silhouette of a person moving. So just Dude. what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. That's all? A dark park. And they only found it after they reviewed the footage. Yeah, earthquakes are pretty common, yeah. Small ones, at least. In the San Pedro Mall. Oh, bro. Security guard Johann Zimmel is working the night shift at the San Pedro Mall the in San Jose, shift. Costa Rica, when he spots something truly chilling. Oh, wait, we've seen this. Gerardo, fíjate detrás tuyo. I don't believe in aliens. Bro, dude, it, it, it's astronomical that we can have video cameras with this kind of quality. Bro is seeing his own after image because of how terrible this camera is. Oh my god. All you need to find a ghost is a camera from a Motorola phone. That's literally it. You'll be able to find unlimited paranormal activity. Unlimited. All you need is a Motorola phone. Holy. What am I looking at? A security camera pointed at the mall's parking structure captures the moment a dark, shifty silhouette of a person. Nah, that, that's his after image. Unsuspecting man. Look! The man bro, it was literally moving the exact same way as him, bro. Uh, left foot, left foot, right foot behind. Left foot, right foot behind. An unsuspecting man. It's literally. Oh my god. It's actually just as after image with this camera quality. Watch it walk in the exact same line and way the dude is walking. It can be seen approaching an unsuspecting. <laughs> left foot in, left foot in, right foot out, right foot out. Bro, it, it, you can't make this up. You actually can't make this up. Man. The man turns around as if he hears or feels something. No, but no, no. The dude was on the radio telling him to look behind him. No one's there. And the weird figure seems to have just disappeared into thin air. Yeah. After the security footage was released online, many former employees of the mall came forward to share their own personal oh, okay. paranormal experiences. From we're, getting, we're getting me too for paranormal activity as well? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. We live in a, in a an amazing generation. He's working there. Many of these former even ghosts are getting me to haunted after someone passed away on the fourth floor of the parking structure. 
lights out. One afternoon, Rachel Navarro is home alone in her New York City apartment. Due to maintenance uh -uh. issues, the power in her building has temporarily been shut off. And this is when things just start to get really weird. Okay. Okay, hi. Um, sorry, I'm just watching something, but literally... Hold on. There what are you watching? No electricity. In An animated short film about guilt? Yo, you got something you want to say? Something you need to get off your chest? In our place right now, okay? Turned it off, but I swear... Shite. Okay, this door... Shite? What? Has been doing this... That's, that's New York. Look, that's shite. Oh my god. It looks like someone's there. Hello? Huh? Hold on, hold on. I'm going out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's something you want to do. Someone, someone, you know, knocking, knocking on your door. The first thought is, yeah, I need to go out there and investigate. That's the smart thing to do. That's how you get robbed. Oh, oh I my! The flash on because I couldn't see shite out there. She's trying to blind I us. Mace. Oh, it's thank God you have your mace. What? What is this I lock? Blood of Jesus, Jesus. Oh my gosh, Jesus! Yeah. yeah. Okay. Moves because of the wind. I'm not really worried about that. So I'm about ready to pause it. A shadow. Shadow people. That's just the building. Yeah, it's literally just the wind. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. What? No. Rachel's front door is shaking on its own, and when she yeah, looks through wind, the peephole, yeah. something can be seen moving. That's not true. And you want to know why I was about ready to pause it? I'm sure the second she opens this door, I'll be able to tell you. Around on the other side, she grabs her pepper spray and opens the door, but no one. Uh, they don't. They're not showing Just it. Just her creepy pitch black hallway. Then Rachel hears what sounds like someone breathing and whispering in the hallway. Oh sh! Oh sh! Jesus! Understand? What? She turns around and heads right back inside. As a new stop by viewer, Rachel decided to email us about her creepy experience. To this day, she still has no idea. Yeah, people live there, and, and she's probably her. hearing like stuff moving around. People wondering. What's happening with the lights upstairs, downstairs? You'd be able to hear it. You'd be able to hear that. What? I swear, bro. You can literally make anything paranormal. Anything. Her hall. And no it's because of see. gullible this next people. This video was recorded at a small hotel in the desolate countryside of Mexico. Now, for years, the staff working at the hotel have witnessed and experienced unexplainable activity. Oh, wait, we've seen this one. Usually. And let me explain it, okay? They literally stole the kid from Scary Movie, I think, what, 3? Scary Movie 3? The, the ghost uh, Japanese house? The ghost that stays there from, like, the grudge kid or whatever? I, I don't know, but they literally stole it. They just overlaid it. Uh, hold on. The kid that speaks in like, just like simple one one word Japanese one Japanese word every time. I I make a reference to this every single time. But dude, it, they literally just steal it straight up for him. Oh. 
Like. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hibachi Benihana Teriyaki. Nagasaki, Okinawa, Hokkaido, Yokohama. Yokohama. But like this, this kid right here, okay? They, they literally steal it from... <laughs> Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry, this kid, okay, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Yokohama, <laughs> Karate Judo Sumo Samurai, <laughs> Nissan, Honda, Mitsubishi, Shibu. I can't. Okay. But just think, uh, just think of that, of that kid, uh, of that kid. Just, just remember, just remember what you just saw, not what you heard. When they're all alone, a Hyundai, a housekeeper notices Mitsubishi. someone standing at the window of hotel room number thirty. Even though the room should be vacant and completely empty, the housekeeper immediately notifies the hotel manager, but they find no evidence of anyone inside that empty Benny room. Benny Hanna. That is, until later, that same day. Watch, 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 watch. Look, look, look. Hold up, it's coming up. Aquí más cerquita. Aquí más cerquita. Look, 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 look! Bro, it, it's like, it's, it's like a one-to-one, -one, dude. It, it is a literal one-to-one -one comparison, okay? This right here. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It is a one-to-one. -one. Bro, and the fact that no one else is making this, this comparison is wild. It's literally the same dude. It's the same guy. Oh my god. You can't make this up. You just can't make this up, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm coping. But like, that is straight up from Scary Movie. Una cara, unos ojos. Vamos a ver. Vamos and then obviously when she goes up there, there's no one there. Sorry, spoilers. No one's there. Uh, and you can't even access the window, right? Aquí pues no se ve nada. Y aquí está la tele donde está donde estábamos. Oh, no, no, Entonces, okay, yeah, that's what veía, it was. Pero no se ve nada. No entiendo qué. ¿Por qué está ahí? Ay. As the manager approaches the hotel room, a pale face with hollow eyes can be seen peering down at her through the hotel window. The manager no. hurries upstairs and into the room, but she discovers to be that fair, the face. To be fair, it could be the stain on the wall. Or Whatever it was, has disappeared. Like, I but think then they moves, to... making a loud sound and sending the frightened Hold woman up. rushing. Like, does she ever? Does she ever show the? Sorry. Can Can you just like move the camera? Just on the wall. I just need to see. Ah, bro, like, you just can't. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Hoax, 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 hoax. In a flash, there's a lightning storm just outside Amanda Knowles' house in Iowa. She looks out her front window and notices something truly bizarre. Please tell me y'all see this. Just watch. Oh, watch no, 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 no. Look, you see it? Look. And it happens again. Look. Look. Look.
No way. This is number what? This is number two? And it's literally just this? Yeah, I I've seen this in, in, in everywhere, bro. You go to like any storm chasing video, vlog, whatever, you'll see this exact same thing, bro. Like, see, see? And I'm telling you right now. Telling me what? Dog, but look, man, I think it's time to move. And then, a strange yeah. white figure can be seen standing. No, nuke. Nuke, bro. How do you, how do you look at this and, and, and say this is, this, this is paranormal? How? How, bro? How? In the grass across the street from where Amanda lives. But whoever or whatever this is. How? It appears and then just disappears as the storm rages on. Some viewers of Amanda's creepy video wonder if the electrical energy in the air could have somehow helped make a paranormal presence. Oh my god. But whatever this is, Amanda says she is spooked. The old Baraboo Inn. What? Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel oh, here we go. Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted old Baraboo Inn located in the scenic city of Baraboo, Wisconsin. The inn. Here, here's another reason why. Here's another reason why you cannot, you cannot trust paranormal investigators. Did it? You just can't, you just can't trust them. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Um. They want me to drink another whiskey, dude. Don't move. Oh, that's a weird impulse. <sighs> that is a weird impulse, man. Billy starts acting very strange and has this sudden impulse to drink more whiskey. <laughs> Out of all the times that we've been ghost hunting and stuff, I have never had an impulse. I want to drink that right now. Bro, dude, they're, I think they're running out of stuff. I think they're running out of stuff, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, ghosts tell me to drink every night too. Amen. Preach it, bro. It has to be the demons. It has to be the demons in my house. They they have to be the ones that tell me to drink. Oh and my god. It was built in 1864 and functioned as a tavern and a brothel. Over the years, the CDN became a regular hangout for many underworld figures uh, like look Al Capone at... and other notorious gangland criminals. Over the years, it is said that many people fell victim to the inn's sinister yeah. <laughs> clientele, and many men, and even women, have lost their lives here. Today, the old Baraboo Inn is said to be extremely haunted, especially in the basement where it is said that many men were chained to a pole and executed by the mob. That Ooh. pole still stands today, a remnant of the building's horrific past. So, investigator Ian decides to spend a night at the inn, planning to investigate all the paranormal claims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still but he ends up drinking night, whiskey. And Ian is exploring the Baraboo Inn's bar area when things start to get a little Wait. spooky. Are there any spooky? Wait, is this the actual clip? Wait, is this the same clip? No way, right? No way they add this into a top 10. No way. Spirits? Hanging out at this bar tonight? Wait. No yeah, way. This place is supposed to be really haunted. Could you show me what they're talking about? The stories of strange things happening? I'd like to see it for myself. Is anybody here that could do that for me? 
they only end up finding out anything after they review the footage, okay? Or, or, okay, hear me out. Like, it is, a, it is a strange thing, yes. But hear me out. This is another thing or trick that I think they use. They they go around and they record in, in like, super dark, like, something that tells you that you're scared. Like, you tell yourself, you're putting yourself in these positions where you, you actually think you're scared. And you start, like, creating stuff in your head, right? And that's, that's, a, that's a known thing. But then you react to something that doesn't happen. But then when they review the footage and nothing happened there, they have to add in something that made them react that way that's that's what i think is like a true trick that they use like any any whispers or anything like that you can literally just just add that in like oh someone just whispered in my ear and then and then we play back the footage after i edit it of course there's someone whispering in my ear and then i can put text on the screen that tells you what they're saying and you'll hear it that sound came from over there That scared me. Chad, if I don't... Hello? If I don't stream tomorrow, it's because the paranormal investigators got me. If that was you, could you make that sound again? Oh, jeez. Like, it doesn't even sound like it happens there. Okay, I'm hearing all kinds of weird sounds in here. It Ian continues his investigation and heads into the inn's kitchen. But what happens next is truly bizarre. If there's anyone in here, could you show yourself? Oh! What the f*** was that? Mind you, there are multiple people in this building because they're investigators. There are multiple people, okay? Hello? Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, something just got thrown. What the hell was that? A spoon? What a ladle? That? What the f is that? It's a ladle. Oh my god, it's like a spoon. It's on the floor. Like, how is that even possible? Yo, bro, these guys, these guys need to audition for the hub, bro. This this acting is actually just tremendous. I don't know. I don't know how to explain any of this. Oh my god. Everything that is happening to me right now is far beyond what I was expecting from this place. Holy Ian is freaked out as kitchen Dude. utensils can be heard moving on their own and a ladle is thrown onto the floor. But the worst is still yet. Oh, to there's come. more because next Ian heads down into the basement, the most actively haunted area of the old yes. Marabou Inn. Yes, ghosts love basements, dude. This is dude. the room. Oh God, there it is. You see that? That is the pole. Ooh. The execution pole. Yeah, look, look at this sneaky little chair right here, bro. Like people are just actually hanging out, having a good time, probably drinking, seeing their favorite lady up on this pole man if the mobsters took you in this room you knew you were done for just imagine what be going through those victims minds as they're being uh -huh. dragged into this room and placed here and if you look closely here you can see all the different bullet holes okay you see that? there's a bullet hole right there Right yeah. there. I'm right not there. doubting what it was actually used for. It is all over this pole. And those are blood stains seeping through the paint. Eh, well, I don't know about that, but. It's super tense in here. Yeah, again, mind you, he's not alone. Sounds like somebody's down here with me. Because there is. Who's out there? It's your friend that we saw in the very beginning. 
Oh God. Holy shit. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Okay. It's coming from this room. Again. The pole room. <laughs> I can hear you over there. I know you're down here. I don't think it's the same spirit. At all. I don't think it's a spirit at all. I'm kind of getting that heavy, bad feeling again. If you're one of the mobsters, uh. make another sound. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, a ghost that responds. Jeez. That's Who would have thunk that? I right now. Could you do it again a little louder? Oh my god, Shaq as an actor in here? What is that? Could you do it again a little louder? Oh my god! Shaq comes out from behind the pole! Holy shit! How tall is this man? Eight foot tall? He's almost touching the ceiling! Oh! Holy! Oh my god! That was a black mass! Okay, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. But it's a hey, dead yo! Dead. I can't get out this way. Ian is terrified as he sees a dark shadow-like figure move near the infamous oh, it's just Shaq. hole in the basement. He's able to calm himself down enough to follow the dark figure, but he finds nothing and no one to explain what he just saw. See, this is so it. This is what I was saying. That they react to it and then they add it in after, bro. It has to be that. After this creepy event, Ian decides that he's had about enough, and he just heads home. What a quitter! You can see this full investigation with many more scary moments over on the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's always a W when Nukes top five. And bizarre bub upload. Uh, I mean, like uh, these are W videos. Like you could just sit there, and and think, right? People actually believe these. They actually believe them. That's how, that's how gullible people are. This is amazing. I love these videos, dude. W nukes top five. W people for creating these videos for us to watch and mock. But like, very good editing. Okay. He always does insane work. W men's W video video. And I'll see you on the next one.